This is originally the Central Avenue United Methodist Church. It was built in 1892. The organ was installed at that time. When we came to this organ in January of 2010, uh, it was in terrible disrepair. So Golding and Wood undertook the task of bringing this organ back to life. Uh, we removed it in January, took it all back to our shop. Uh, the original mechanics that part that make the organ play, uh, that were built by Thomas Sanborn back in 1892, uh, those were in such bad shape we had to rebuild or make new parts to replace that. Most of what makes the sound in the organ is located behind the case. So Phil Lehman took us on a tour for a rare view of the inside of the pipe organ chamber with the pipes removed. Okay. I'm standing in front of the lowest metal pipes in the organ. This is a stop called the Tenaroon. Clear against the wall is that 16-foot stop. And you can see these other ones right behind me right here. This is on the great manual and provides the lowest foundation sounds on the organ. Uh, right behind me is one of the wind regulators that's not actually controlling sound, but so that there's a constant steady uh, wind pressure uh, for this chest that's behind me. The wind supply is created by a blower, which is in the basement below us. And then it's fed up through this wind duct uh, into this, and that provides all the air that's used throughout the entire instrument. Right here is the brain that controls all the organ. There's actually a microprocessor that will sit right here. And all of the miles of wiring come back into these connections right here. And this is what sends the signal to the individual magnets to actually fire and play um, so that the air opens and uh, lets the air go to the pipe. So that's kind of a, an old and a new that get to come together. We have uh, pipes that are actually laying on their sides. Uh, this is part of the 16-foot uh, open diapason, and this actually kind of produces a set of stairs to get down into the organ chamber. We're actually up in the organ chamber right now. We're standing on the chest in the grate, and if you look out, you can actually see what the room looks like from up in the organ chamber. This is a site you won't get to see again, um, because actually right in front of us will be a whole wall of pipes or a set of pipes. I'll let you pan down here. We're standing on top of the great chest, and this is where the pipes will actually sit. So this is the hole that actually provides the wind for the pipe itself. Traditionally, the main role of the pipe organ has been to lead a church congregation in song. This pipe organ will be given a new life with a different role, a concert organ in what used to be a church. We are in what will be the Cook Grand Theater, which is part of the Indiana Landmark Center. This was originally the Central Avenue United Methodist Church. The congregation um, dwindled in size as people moved out into the suburbs and things like that. Uh, and this building had kind of fallen into disrepair. Uh, Indiana Landmarks uh, took possession of the building. Uh, the part that was the sanctuary before, which has this organ in it, is now going to become a concert hall, a place for lectures, and for weddings. And when the renovated building was finished, people streamed in all day to witness the unveiling of this Indiana landmark building and its historic Sanborn organ. It's beautiful music. It's an instrument that has a lot of, a wide range of volumes and colors um, and expression that you can do with it, it will provide that um, community of sound with all these lovely things that you see around it and then this fine organ that will be uh, kind of the keystone of the room.